Shalom, 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 shalom. We'll start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to Kal Loyim La Yahawa, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Chakras Bratham. I'm going to say double honors to the elders and to the apostles of the Great Millstone who do teach and rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than never. Say so shalom to the Akim and the Akwa out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. In the land of other nations appearing like the other nations, but subscribe to this truth to you. I say shalom. This is Brother Yahweh Sop. I'm coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shemin Hashai. Pretty much, uh, this lesson is like an impromptu. Like, um, I thought I was going to be going into a completely different lesson. You know, um, I was coming across certain information at my job Friday. So I had set up in lesson format. And for whatever reason, it ain't been able to come out. You know, I, I had like four topics I was going to bring out. I got out two. I wanted to try to do the other two, but little things been happening. And I called myself trying to do it this morning. And, and as soon as I'm about to do it, the spirit led me this way because, you know, pretty much an impromptu because I was meditating on, uh, you know, my personal life experiences. You know, <laughs> uh, I was listening to the elder, beloved elder Apostle Gobar. He was going into uh, how the guy, um, what's his name? Deacon Akar, pretty much. Um, uh, formerly of Sakari, that's of Genesis now, uh, pretty much um, made a statement about how after he turns the camera off with YouTube, he has a life outside of this thing. And, you know, sometimes I speak on things that go in my personal life because the Lord, you know, you ain't an Israelite on camera, they're not one, you know what I mean? Like the Lord watching all that. So uh, I was thinking about this, like the Lord put me in a situation uh if brothers are intimate with me, brothers that's intimate with me understand how I move with a woman. And I move a certain particular kind of way for me to remain in the truth. Uh, I had a woman really scar me, fuck me up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I looked at, you know, dealing with a woman a certain kind of way, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the spirit jumped on me one day. I was bored. You know, I've used Facebook Marketplace a lot. So I was like, well, fuck it. What is this? And Lord and behold, you know, it was a lot of women bid on it, you know what I mean? And, it, and, you know, that don't um, puff up my head because after conversating with some of these women, I know why. Like, women are lowering in standards and all kind of shit because <laughs> it's shit hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I found it funny because this one chick, she was talking about, like, she wanted some help from the government. And I'm like, well, shit, you should qualify for something because when I was making this about, you know, they still gave me something. She, like, she makes 6000 a month. And I'm thinking about something like, well, bitch, what do you need? What you need? Help for the government folk. Like, if you was just to really just, like, change your spending habits, you know, but America's like a a, a, a trap, a snare. You know, the elders brought out a, 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 a scripture, the elder apostle Gabar brought out a scripture that lines up with Revelation chapter 12 and 12. Like, when you go into a fowler, a fowler is a person that traps and catches bears. And basically, that's an analogy for Esau, Edom, and the people are the birds, you know. But, um, Think about it like this system is set up for you to incur debt because they allow you to be able to get something that you really can't afford. You know, so a lot of people are in that 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 quagmire because of the fact of the way that this system is set up. You know. You go you can go get a car, you only make a certain amount of money, but the car is is like, you know, what I mean? like so because based on credit, which seemed like a good thing at the time. You know, you are allowed to get something that you can't truly afford. But now people are seeing how this system is really a snare because a lot of people got to get their cars back because they can't afford the monthly payments because of inflation. You know, I know people that was, I remember the last place I was staying at. That's why I bought my car flat out. Like I'll drive a car that somebody might say that's an ugly car, but I'm not trying to press you no more. Like I'm not no 25 years old or 19, nigga, I'm going on 40, I'm, I'm in my 40s, middle, you know, I'm 45 years old. If you still trying to do something to get somebody attention and impress them, some, you, like, you, you don't know, ooh, and you in this truth, like, they, like, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, like, we know what Niger mean, but, like, the elder was doing, going in or, you know, you don't be sitting up there proclaiming the nigga university, you know, I just show you how bugged out Jake is, I'm probably, I'm over, all over the place, Salakia, you know, but, you know, 
Like, uh, somebody left a comment and it kind of cut me, but I'm going to try to work on it. Like, I didn't realize how fast I talk, you know. So maybe that's why, you know, the, the videos aren't as edifying because of the fact everybody can't understand me. Like, I think a lot of people that, you know, like the video would be people that know me, you know what I mean? Because I rarely listen to my videos, you know. So, you know, I listen for maybe like the first minute to make sure it actually recorded. But, you know, I rarely listen to my own videos. And maybe I should start doing that. But uh, I'm going to try to slow down. But see, that's also spiritual because the spirit's picking up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you can't get it, like that's why the elder in the spirit of, you know, if you can't get it, we moving on. And they had been in that spirit for years. But now they even more so because we had to know. You know what I mean? So you see how much... Prophecy popping, pop, 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 popping like popcorn. Like, you know, you know, I knew this nigga used to say pop, popping corn when he mean talking shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, long story short, um, I was talking to this female because, like I said, again, I jumped on this app and, like I said, a couple of females, you know what I'm saying? So I've been chopping it up with them, you know, a couple of them chopping up with them. And, um, it just everybody's miserable. But I was talking to this one particular female and she cool in her mind. She want to be married. And, I, you know, like it's two of them that literally was like getting a based on, you know, I'm reading out. the Well, I'm not reading out the Bible. I'm quoting the scriptures. And I just show you how demonic motherfuckers is like me. Me and this female, she was like she was going to church. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I'm talking about scriptures and she get offended. I say, you do realize you just went to church like the other day, right? <laughs> it, it cut her to it, but that, 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 that's that's show that's not normal. How you gonna go to church? But then I'm quoting scripture, and she's like, everything ain't about the Bible. I'm like, damn it. So you know, I already kind of lightweight. See, like we both came to understand that. Like I'm not about to bend over. And do, like at the end of the day, the Lord can present you with an opportunity, but it might not be for your benefit. Like that's how much I've been in the truth. You know what I mean? Like everything that happened to you might not be a blessing. Like. You got certain brothers that might get a lot of women in the truth while you got some brothers that didn't have any. Like, that might be the blessing not having any. Because, you know, uh, look at what happened with Solomon. Solomon was supposedly blessed with a lot of women, but it wasn't a blessing at the end because it cursed him. You know, so like I said, you can look at this, like I'm looking at it different ways. Isaiah 4, you know, 4 and 1, you know what I mean? Seven women should cleave unto a man. If that's 4 and 1, I can't, I think it's Isaiah chapter 3 yeah, I think it's four and one. And then three is when the women actually come to the realization they need a man. That proud ass Babylonian spirit. I can do it by myself. No, these women came. This woman told me she makes six thousand a month. I said, damn, that's like seventy thousand dollars a year. And you talking about some food stamps? I don't, I'm trying not to call her a bitch, but it's like that. <laughs> but you know what? A female will get offended by the word bitch, but the bitch just simply mean a dog. Like the brother said, you go into the Bible. The Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes say a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. So what is the Lord saying? He called her a bitch. Like, what are you talking about? And I could go to the scriptures. I'm not just literally just like, that's why when they try and play us like we crazy, you're going to be like, damn, them crazy dudes was actually right. You know, like a dude just doing a video about that. Like, ain't it safe to say that the Hebrew Israelites was right? But then this nigga still up here talking about some... I don't subscribe and I don't and you know what I notice about Christians they always talking about they believe in the Lord but they feel like the Lord don't give a fuck how you feel that's crazy to be like you sitting up here talking about you feel some kind of way the Lord don't care about your feelings you know what I mean the Lord told uh, Abraham to sacrifice Isaac you think the Lord gave a fuck about Abraham feeling and the thing is when you really take the time to meditate on that account Abraham literally didn't expect to have a son. So just imagine how much he truly loved Isaac. Just imagine being told you can't have a child, but then you have a child. You, yeah, you, he loved that boy, but he was so obedient to the most high. He was willing to sacrifice him. Not to think thought he, and guess what? The Lord recognized that and pretty much had it set up through the spirit that he didn't have to sacrifice him. Now, if we get real deep, that's how deep my elders is. That's why you can take and correlate that Isaac was Yahweh Shai. But that ain't for everybody, you know what I mean? You know, this truth ain't for everybody. But uh, like I said, again, Salaki for the rambling because I'm all over the place. But I was listening to this chick and I can't pronounce the word, but she was like, she's into men of intellect. 
So really, the only reason why I even messaged this chick because she 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 said that word. It's like sapo sexual or some shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck is a sapo sexual? So I went to look it up, and it's pretty much a a person that's attracted to intellect. So I you know messenger. That's what made me messenger. Like, oh yeah, okay, I learned a new word, and we just was messaging back and forth. And now you know, like it's so funny because like. She one of them females, you can't say the word bitch, or, you know, like she don't like certain certain things. You know, like she one of them. And I'm up here saying all kind of shit. <laughs> and she like, she don't understand what it is that she literally, that's funny because she just popped up, you know. But uh, she like literally, uh, she don't know what it is about me. But, you know what I mean? Like she, she like, she could just leave it alone, but she can't leave it alone. I'm like, you know, but, you know, and that's not, again, not the big head. This like, like, like literally the Lord do certain things. I mean, I might not never meet this woman. What what I'm saying is I find it funny at the end that the Lord did all this. Because I'm like, well, you think I'm about to, like, a female will be sadly mistaken. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Like, you know, like, the Lord will have to really show me something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause, like I told, uh, oh, girl, only female that I love, only females I love is my daughters. You know what I mean? Get fucked up, and I'm not saying all women are bad or that like that because like just let's like put the label of all men being bad or everything being bad, you know what I mean? But at the same time, the nature of a woman is proclaimed in the scripture. You know, the scriptures talk about having a uh, what's that in Proverbs chapter thirty one, a virtuous woman, and a lot of these women ain't virtuous. You know what I mean? Most of these women ain't fearing the Lord. But point being, you know, she was like pretty much. The whole inspiration for this through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is she made a statement about because what I'm telling her is the truth. So her intellect is like They gonna be saved. What, baby? So lucky. You know, again, it made me think about certain scriptures because, you know, like, like after, like I said, everything I'm telling the. After everything I'm telling her. You know, like, see, again, the Lord got her stuck right there, but she don't even completely believe. And it could be to her destruction, you know what I mean? Because the thing is, like the elder said, you could do videos, but if you don't have to understand it, you might not be saved, you know what I mean? The elect is going to have to understand it, you know? 
you can hear the truth, but just because you didn't believe the truth, you might not you you ain't gonna get saved. Cause you gotta have faith and works. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it made me think of some scriptures. It's the book of Romans, chapter three, and starting at verse three, and it reads, "For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High with, without effect?" So it said pretty much. I shall read it in the uh, blue letter. This is Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. For what if some did not believe? To tell their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without the fact. Verse 3 in the NLT. True, some of them were unfaithful, but they just... But just because they were unfaithful, does that mean that the Most High will be unfaithful? Most High forbid, yea, let the Most High be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So, pretty much. If, if you don't believe, does it mean that the things that's written in these scriptures ain't going to come to pass? You know, the scriptures talk about the Most High God being a man that he cannot lie, you know. And the craziest part is, why, like I said, we looked at like we're crazy. You know, the, the real crazy part to me is the things that we speak in order to come to pass. You know, we literally are looking like prophets, you know. And that's why the elders said we got to be the men because who else is doing this? Prophets prophesy. And then the things we're saying is literally coming to pass. And that's why the Lord gave us a little bit of, you know, a, a, a faith booster when you had that Jake for whatever reason. Because you got to take time to think about it. Jake made a video commending us and then went back and pretty much recanted. Well, I do feel like this. And like, you know what I mean? That was spiritual. <laughs> but he said, you know, isn't it safe to say that those men were right? And, and the one brother from uh, Vegas said, you think? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, he like... Right, you think like he literally like so. It's the book of uh, Revelations. I mean, First Corinthians chapter one and verse uh, start at verse seventeen. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Mashiach should be made of none effect. Verse 18, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is in the power. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of the Most High. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Verse 20, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Had not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? And he has. You know, like, like this is the true wisdom. The scriptures tell you knowledge of wisdom is not so like it. Knowledge of wickedness is not true wisdom. You know these devils up here, the they got the knowledge to be able to genetically modify food. They could create food, but when you go into the science of that, like they they pretty much could like most our God made a, a banana. They could make a GMO banana, but to show you is like like false light. Like I used to mess with this female, she would talk about false light. Because, you know, light is, is, is something that's good. It's essential to living. You know what I'm saying? But this is false light because you think it is, is good, but it's really not as beneficial as you think. You know, like, for instance, a GMO banana. It looks like a banana. You can eat it. It's edible. But at the same time, it doesn't do anything for your body. It has it lacks nutrients. You got to understand this man is the son of perdition, meaning destruction. You know, uh, what else? Uh like, this is a number of things this motherfucker has done. You know, like with 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 uh Monsanto. You go into Monsanto and pretty much uh you know they created those different uh pesticides that's supposed to uh pretty much keep the bugs from killing the livestock, the plants and whatnot. But it actually fucks up other plants. Then when you go into Monsanto and a lot of these pesticide companies, they pretty much was like chemical companies that, like, I forgot which company created Agent Orange. You know how bad that Agent Orange shit is? It was a brother that used to stand on the other side of the camp when I was in the camp. 
He literally said that his father pretty much got hit with Agent Orange. And it basically, like, before he was even born, it's still in his father's nutsack. When he came out, the shit went into his DNA. Imagine that shit. And then you allowing these people to actually control the fucking food. And, like, the fuck? So if you don't, you know, you, the brother used to always be Sullivan Green. You know what I mean? You ever go watch that movie, like, literally, he talk about, uh, the, you know, the Sullivan Green is the people. That's why the scriptures tell you in the book of, uh, what's that, Ezekiel chapter 4, uh, the children of Israel shall eat their bread to foul among the nations wherever the Most High shall drive them. Roughly paraphrased. Now, the thing is, we know for sure, especially in Babylon, I mean, everywhere, you know, the food is tainted, but not to the extent that it is in Babylon. Babylon the Great, like, is fucked up. And this place is Babylon the Great, if you're not f familiar with that, because this is the land of great confusion. You know, this man that told you to take this jump shot, that literally, you got all these people mysteriously falling over and people can't seem to put one and two together or oh, they, you know, you do introduce something that foreign to your body and then all of a sudden you fall out and they go, oh fuck, you got young people can't fucking lung capacity all the drop, all kind of crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? But the fool, you know, the Lord made the, the wisdom of this world foolish because everybody that ran to Esau eat them for, the scripture says, tell you, uh, pretty much, um, uh, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know? So all those that ran um, without even sitting, taking the time to think about it, just blindly following the devil, they, you know, that was your lot. Verse 21, the point. For after that in the wisdom of the Salaki, for after that in the wisdom of the most high, the world by wisdom. Knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Yeah. You know. So we preaching the cross is foolishness to the world, but this is the way the Lord is going to save you. You know, and it's accounted multiple times in the scriptures. You know, when you look at Jonah. You know, even Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, said that. When you go into Matthew chapter 16, he said, People looking for a sign, but the only sign we shall be given is the sign of the prophet Jonas. And what's the breakdown of that? The Lord set it up where you're going to have men on the highways and hedges prophesying. You know, people sitting up there thinking the Lord just so tight with them. Like, that's what, another thing that females say. The Lord loves me so much because it fell right in your lap. That might not, not necessarily be the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand the word demon means intellect. So, you know what I mean? It's intelligence. You literally battle on a spirit. And I'm, I'm going to give you something else that you didn't know to see if you are on a, a certain kind of level. People always think that the Most High God just deal with the righteous, but it tells you in the book of Isaiah chapter 45, the Lord deals with both sides, the, the wicked and the righteous. Because you can't be omnipotent or all powerful unless you control both sides. That's man trying to put the most high God in the box. You know, the, the wisdom of this world tell you that they got everything mastered, but they can't even get to the bottom of the fucking ocean. So how do they, how's, how have they explored the, the, the utmost of the skies? And the, you know what I mean? Like they haven't even been out of the asteroid belt. And that's facts. You know, I was telling her about you know, and normally I wouldn't tell her about it. So that's why I was, or anybody about, like, I make videos and all that. I, but I'd be tired a lot now. You know, I'm one of the ones, I guess, like, when I'm getting tired, I get talkative. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, uh, so we got to wait. I mean, it was spiritual, though. So like, it didn't freak her out. It didn't bug her out. Like, I told a couple of them, <laughs> I think, where I didn't tell them that I make video, but I I did something. And, and like, I thought that she would have kind of been like, no, I told her, have she ever heard about the Israelite thing and she, I was like uh I was like I could send you something or tell you or show you something and she was like um no nah. she was like it was pretty much she was like everything ain't for everybody so I'm thinking she's gonna be turned off but in actuality she's cool she just didn't want to and I'm like well damn you know you know you pretty much rejected so if you get judged that's on you but I did what I supposed to do 
That's the whole purpose of me doing this. I don't, I'm not doing it because, you know what I mean? I'm doing it because I'm scared the Lord going to fuck me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anybody that's in this truth that's, you know, have any like kind of wisdom in this thing, they know that the Lord will fuck you up. You know, again, all these different things, all these signs, all these uh, prophecies coming to pass is a sign that we're close to the end. The book of First Peter chapter 4 talks about the end of all things is at hand. You watching pretty much this governmental system crashing. You watching the money system crashing. And all these things are supposed to take place before the return of our big brother, our Lord and Savior, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, but whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the name of the Most High God and His Son, which is Yahweh, meaning He is or He exists, or He to be, by Hashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shah, meaning He saved, or He delivered, the true names of the Most High God and His Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. You know? A lot of people don't even know that the name Jesus Christ, to show you how spiritual it is, I was always wondering about that book, the book about the sweet, um, the, 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 the slave ship called Jesus. And a brother posted this, the book. So I'm going to go try and look for that afterward. I bet you could download it for free on PDF or something like that. Is that really, I sent my sister that. Like, that's really should fuck your head up. He your savior, but he put you in the captivity. And the thing is, the cold part about it is, it's kind of right. It ain't kind of right, it is right. It was your. It wasn't you know Jesus. It was it was Yahweh Shai because it wasn't no letter J, so his name couldn't have been Jesus. Letter J is a recently um, new letter to the alphabet. It's not like but like a couple hundred years old. So we through the Spirit that know this truth know that his name couldn't have been Jesus, and a name is very important because if you got to call on his name to be saved. You know, like common sense shit. If you, you got to call on his name to be saved. Now, the thing is, we read out the same book. But based on we don't even believe in the same name, we pretty much don't agree. So the scriptures talk about can two walk together, at least they be agreed. No. Because <laughs> it's going to be some kind of conflict. And eventually, either the Lord going to open their eyes to what the truth is, which is the name. You know, I noticed that the Lord often has brothers tell Christians the true name and they choose to reject it. But you just imagine how many brothers was once Christians that became, you know, basically woke up to their heritage. Because this is not a religion. This is your heritage. This is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 9. Again, we at the end. This is 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And the Lord is visiting the earth by these different uh, whirlwinds. You know, I had made a statement on my last uh, cap, my last live, in regards to it's pretty much... Uh, what I said is a given that we're going to have another storm, but I kind of recanted it because of the fact it's ultimately the will of Yahweh Shemel Shai if you're going to have another storm. But come to find out, they said that hurricane, or it's not a hurricane, it's a tropical storm. That tropical storm, they did basically just touched the ground. Now, it ain't a hurricane where, you know, it can really cause devastation, but at the same time, you better pray it down because you got to understand hurricane season is still for like another month and a half. <laughs> you know what I mean? And just based on the last two hurricanes that Helene and Milton, and they said Milton actually died down. Like Milton wasn't as severe as it could have been. That show you that the Lord show up mercy, but at the same time not. Me personally, I think the Lord gonna hit this motherfucker with another one. Because it deserved to be. You know, like um, Isaiah chapter 26 talks about. When the Lord's judgment is in the earth, then these people shall know righteousness. And it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently. How are we measuring the time? We measure the time by the scriptures. We, we matching up what's going on in the world with what's written in the scriptures and bringing it to the people. And that's really true love. You know, if I tell you you going off, that's love. Because that gives you an opportunity to correct yourself. 
Verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, which you're seeing, that's a prophecy, and that's a prophecy coming to pass right now. You have uproars all of, what, earlier during the summer in the UK. You know what I mean? I forgot where you had a ball at, but you had a lot of, you know, uproar. Shit, you had some here. Verse 4, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. You go into the word manifest, it means to suddenly appear. So these things are appearing before certain people's eyes. You know, like I said, I mean, I've told, I mean, like, it's like, <laughs> it's a few of them that I'll be chopping with. And I've told pretty much all of them the truth. Because, and, and, and you know what I got out of this too? If I never actually like touch none of these females, I'm content with the fact at least two or three of them pretty much said you're very passionate about what you're talking about, and they fucked me up, you know, because I'm like, damn, for real, like, is you know, you don't hear your. I told you I rarely listen to my videos, so if I go off on a video, I look at it like the I used to look at it like it's now. Uh, I forgot who brought it out, but it was like. It was the elder apostle Tahar. He was like, uh, you working for the king of the universe. So you can't do no shit ass job but for the you know what I'm saying? Like if you, if a nigga that you claim basement expects you to do a spick and span, how you gonna not do the work of the Lord, like, you know what I mean, to the utmost with perfection, you know? Cause this thing gotta be perfect. But I used to look at it like everything is, you know, through the spirit and the will of the Lord. If you fuck up like basically uh, breaking down a breakdown is because you probably wasn't prepared and that was, you know, the spirit of the Lord. But at the same time, you know, the Lord gave us technology. You could always delete that and do another video. Brothers have had to go through that. I, there's been times I had to do six or seven videos in one day. And like, so the Satan fucking with you. you know what I mean? Like that's a battle within itself. You know what I mean? By the time you get done with it, you're so frustrated or don't, it can make you not want to do it. Look at these spirits getting roused up right now. You see this? You know what I mean? Like, bear with me for a second. <laughs> so, Lucky, whatever I was saying, I completely like forgot. Um, but point being, like I said again, these people, these, these the, you know, the signs and, and whatnot are being manifest, meaning they're appearing even in these unbelievers' eyes. But you'll understand before the end of this thing that faith is truly a gift. You know, a person can see a miracle, but if they don't believe, it ain't going to look like a miracle to them. That's scary because we're coming into times where belief and faith is all you pretty much have. You got people that's trusting and relying on the government. And the government literally saying, fuck you in their face. You know what I mean? And you still got people waiting. You got people still waiting for a fourth stimulus. <laughs> you got people still waiting on a fourth stimulus. You know, you can't realize, you know, I I don't fight my dogs, but I grew up around niggas that had dogs fighting them bitches. And guess what? Dogs just like boxers. When they about to let them fight, they don't feed them. Because you're going to get your, your, your blood and your flesh in the fucking ring. So they putting and creating the spirit of, you know, I just found something out. The election day is on November 5th. And I was like, damn. And I had to check because I'm like, well, damn, you know, so much shit going to go through my mind. I'd be forgetting shit and whatnot. But I'm like, was November 5th the last election? So I went and looked it up and it was like November 3rd. Go look up what happened on November 5th in, in, the, in, 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 U, in, in, in England, in the UK. I'm going to just tell you because, you know, niggas don't want to look up shit. Niggas a nigga. Go look up Guy Fox. He tried to fucking blow up the government. <laughs> so I, I found it funny because, you know, they do do shit on certain days. They do things, you know, like they spiritually align things on certain days. And, you know, that's all got to do with, uh, you know, like like with the Zodiac. Certain days, like that's why, you know, birthdays fall within a certain day or time frame. And that's why, like, the Zodiac has some truth to it. That's why certain signs, you know, you have similar personalities because, you all up under that sign. At that time, you was, you know what I mean? The stars was aligned a certain kind of way when you were born. So, but, you know, the whole energy they pushing out here is civil war, civil war, civil war. And then I'm like, damn, they did the whole election on November 5th. You know, what is that? November, November, the, the 5th of November. You know, if you ever seen Beef of Vendetta, 
Like the dude wore a Guy Fox mask. He was against the establishment. And he tried to blow, blow the government up. You don't think it's some people out there. The Lord said he created spirits for vengeance. You don't think it's some people out there. Literally, they got militias talking about we going FEMA hunting. Motherfucker better wake up to what time you living in. Because like I said, the, the Bible is speaking more than more than ever before. And the thing is, the scary part about it, why you got these pastors at these churches telling them, oh, God love everybody. Then why everybody don't believe? You think the God really loves somebody that don't believe? I can go get scriptures to, to back up what I'm saying, though. And I don't I don't have a church or a pastor or a building, none of that shit. I ain't expecting no money from the collection plate, none of that. Because the scriptures talk about uh, this was freely given, you know. I received it free, so I'm supposed to give it back freely. So, like I said, again, we looking at the time where the Lord about to send back his son, our big brother, Yahusha Mashiach, who you ignorantly called Jesus Christ, to judge the earth. This is the book of Revelation. Oh, I'm going to start at Revelation chapter 19. Book of Revelation chapter 19 and verse... I'm going to start up because it says Revelation chapter 19 verse 7 let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife have made herself ready and who is the wife who is the lamb first and foremost the lamb is Yahweh Mashiach who you eagerly call Jesus Christ the son of the most high our Lord and Savior that has a a a a a a, a, a pref uh, I butcher that word a prethla uh, a, a multitude of names but not names titles rather you know the king of king lord of lords that's not a name that's a title and who is the who is his wife the elect because we're joined on to him the true believers verse um, 8 and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white for the linen, so like it, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And that's this truth. You know, when you go into the book of Psalms and talk about who the saints are, the saints ain't some so-called white looking people. The saints was Israelites. Just like when you go into the first word, the first time the word Christian was used, the Christians was Israelites. Because it tell you in the book of Acts, they began to call themselves Christians in Antioch. So for you to be a, a true Christian, you have to be an Israelite first. Now go think and sit and meditate and dwell on that. While motherfuckers talking about they don't believe in the Hebrew Israelite thing. Ain't that about a bitch? That show you don't even know your Bible though. I was talking to my sister the other day. She, she come wake me up. Then I didn't do what she thought I was supposed to do. And, and she and then, then talking about so be quiet. But not, she didn't say it like this. She said, uh, stop talking now. I'm like... You know, I'm sure a lot of men consider my sister a very fine woman. You know what I mean? And on top of the fact, she doesn't look her age. Like, if you see my sister, I will say that. Whatever the Lord did with her with that, I'm like, damn, that's cold. You know, because she, my sister is very up in age, but she will not. You would think she like in her 40s. But uh, I'm like, see, that's where you fucked up at. Because, you know, I'm not trying to lay with you. You know what I mean? Like, ah. You, you like that show you how controlling the, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like you control, you just tell me you call me, nigga. Like what the fuck are you talking about? Like all because I won't leave them. Now, like I say, then I put the scriptures in there why I choose not to do this, and you still reject it, but you believe in the Bible. Like that's how you know a lot of people call themselves believe in the Bible go get killed. You don't really believe in the Bible. If you can say I believe in the Bible, but that means you don't believe. Verse 9, and he said unto me, right, blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. Because only those that are joined unto the Lord is going to survive what's about to come and take place. It tell you in the book of um, Isaiah chapter 33, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. The fear of the Lord, his salvation. You know, when you fear the Lord, you have a healthy respect for him. You're not, you know... In that movie's Brock's Tale, it talks about, he said, would you rather be loved or feared? I've done videos on this, at least at least like two or three times. And it always stuck in the back of my mind. He said, I'd rather be feared because fear lasts longer than love. See, 
People say they love the Lord, but then they really reject what's written in the scriptures. But when the Lord fucked the earth up by flooding it, that's when people fucking feared the Lord. That's It's a reason why that account is still written and you can go read that to this fucking day. And he's not coming with water this time. He's coming with fire. It's going to be a flood of fucking fire. It's not going to be only a flood of fire. It's going to be a flood of troops. He's going to come with this white man to come in your neighborhoods and fuck you people up. And that's in the Bible. Talking about the devil coming out with great wrath because he knows, but he have a short time. These people really think it's a game and it's not. You know, and the Lord said he's going to laugh when you, when your fear come. In the book of Job chapter 18, it tells you that the most high God is the king of terrors. Now go find that and go look it up and then tell me. See, if you don't understand that you need to really fear the Lord, yeah, you don't know the Lord. It says, and he said unto me, these are the true sayings of the most high. Verse 10, and I fell at, the, at his feet to worship him. So this was the angel coming to John, telling him this thing, supping with him, you know, and it doesn't say how, it more than likely was visions, you know, but, you know, he saw the awesomeness and the power of the angel and John basically tried to bow down to the angel. Now, listen to this. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, worship the Most High for the testimony of the Most. So, like, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So, if you really suffer with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you will be in a spirit of prophesying. That's why you had prophets. The prophets was the servants of the Lord. Before the Lord took down any kingdom or sent out any judgment, he sent prophets out there to proclaim. Because that's how the Lord is going to wash his hands in the situation. The Lord is a man he cannot lie. So he's giving you an opportunity to repent. But the cold part about it is, if you really understand the scriptures, the Lord created everything. He knows it's going to be people that's going to reject the gospel. So that justifies him to destroy you. You know, in the book of John, I think it's chapter 15, it's, it, it's Yahweh Shah speaking, who you even call Jesus Christ. He said, if I had not come, they would have a cloak for their sins, but I have, I have come. So therefore, they have no cloak. Yahweh Shah came. He did everything he supposed to do. That was your opportunity to basically be covered in his blood. But what did our people do? When you really take the time, this is how fucking wicked our people is. And that's how I know we got to be them people because you can see that shit to this day. Literally, the Messiah came to save our people. And what did they do? They said, kill him. <laughs> they did some Charleston White shit. A nigga be more entertained with a Charleston White. This nigga all over the place. This is a... And that's why I was just trying to tell the old girl. Because, you know, I told her, yeah, I do videos. And she's like, well, what you doing videos on? I'm like, well, the Lord put the spirit on me to tell people certain things. So she's talking about monetizing and all that. And I'm like, nobody wants to hear the truth. The truth, you know what I mean, is rejected in a, a world full of lies. And she like, ah, you know, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like the unbelief, the, the lack of faith, the, if, you know, a feminine means a lack of faith. She still trying to think this place has a future. And I can understand because you, you in school and you want that. But the Lord don't want that. The Lord don't give a fuck if you, you know what I mean? You just spent 25 years of your life in school about to graduate. That shit, this shit is done. There's no saving Babylon the Great. Literally, they just threw in your face that they gonna help some people that ain't even from here. They doing some shit like they. Why do you think they would do something like that? Because they want you upset. They want you roused up. You gonna have silly ass niggas. Because best believe them hunkies coming. Them hunkies training in the woods. Them hunkies hanging niggas right now. And you gonna have some stupid ass nigga that goes, oh, yeah, I gotta fight for America. <laughs> this ain't even your shit. This they shit. And they talk about this ain't they shit either. So, you know what I mean? This shit gonna be horrific. And if the Lord ain't with you, then your ass is just toasted. It says, verse 11, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. 
white uh, represents purity. And he that set upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. And that's the point. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, is sending his son back, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, but whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And he's pretty much coming back in a spirit of judgment and war. And that's why you're seeing war all rousing up on the planet. You got North Korea just sent thousands of troops to go help Russia fight Ukraine. You got Israel. They just try to basically kill, assassinate Net Netanyahu. <laughs> like, this is how serious this shit get in. Motherfuckers sitting up here still playing on some this my street type shit. Nigga, this is a hunky street, nigga. But nigga don't even know what kinsmen mean. Kinsmen is in the Bible. Kinsmen mean your fellow kinsmen, your brother, your sister. Because a kinsman is somebody of the same tribe. We all so-called black people. I'm not black because when you go into the word black, it means void of light. It means dark, evil, wicked. That's why the so-called white man labeled himself white, meaning pure and righteous and good, and labeled his enemy a fucking black person. And guess what? If you don't know words have power, that's why all the other nations that don't even fucking live here look at you like you the worst shit on the planet. When it's really the devil that look at the way the world is being ran. Look how fucked up the world is. Look who's ruling the planet. Again, the scriptures talk about, you know, this devil showing his horns. He going to really the sign of perdition being revealed. When you go in that word perdition, it means destruction. So even if you didn't believe, it don't matter. I'm going to end it with this because the book of Revelation says all eyes shall see him. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse. I don't know why this is doing this. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse. I'm going to start up. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 5. And from Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. That's why he's our big brother, because he was the first spirit that the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, created. You know. And, you know, the Alahayim are those spirits that pretty much helped him create everything else. It wasn't the Most High God that created everything. It was the Most High God created Yahweh. That's why it tells you in the scriptures, I forget where it's at. I think it's in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 about how um, all judgment. No, that's um, we all must be feared for the judgment seat of the Lord. No, it's a scripture. I forgot where it's at. I know it's in the New Testament. It talks about how um, all things, all judgment was given to who you early call Jesus Christ. Because you know, the Messiah, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and the Allah Hayyam, pretty much like the Most High God created Yahweh Shah, and then Yahweh Shah created the, his friends, the angels, the Allah Hayyam. Because when you go into the word angel, all it means is messenger. <laughs> Aren't the prophets messengers? So then, then he created the Allah Hayyam, and then the Allah Hayyam, along with um, the Messiah, created everything else. And that's why it's only going to be particular spirits that's going to hold fast to what's all about to take place. You know, scriptures talk about, and I think Book of Luke about how it said, um, when Yahweh Shah Mashiach come back, he said, when I come back, will I find faith? And he's putting a question question mark for him. Yeah, the only ones that's going to hold faith is the true believers. It says, and from Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who's the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the sins in his own blood because that's why he's considered a lamb because a lamb was often used as a a, 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 a sacrifice in the scriptures that's why the scriptures call Yahweh Shah Mashiach the lamb of God because he was used to be a sacrifice for the whole nation and the thing is why man sins like we are in sinful flesh we sin all the time even in this truth even have an understanding of the scriptures your body go off because it's this wicked ass flesh but y'all He was the perfect sacrifice. 
Verse 6, and hath made us kings and priests unto the Most High and his Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So let it be. Verse 7, the point, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. I got to get that word well, blue letter, so you can have an understand of the severity of this. You know, that brother uh, Shakum from um, Detroit did a beautiful video about get ready, you know, and he was going to tell how they passed that legislation where you got the soldiers that pretty much could unalive, you know, the citizens, which lets you know that, you know, you not they're not going by the Constitution. They lets you know that shit really changed. You got to remember, we was all locked down and then they opened everything back up, but they never said that they was not in a state of emergency. Pay attention. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> that what is it? Gotcha, bitch. Oh, I'm in the wrong chapter. So lock you. It's the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse seven. I just want that word well. Shell well. Strong's G twenty eight seventy five. Kopto. Kopto. It says to cut, strike, smite, to cut off. Or so lock it. To cut from, cut off, to beat one's breast for grief. Be well, lament. Cut down, well worn. It says a primary verb to chop, especially to beat the breast in grief. Cut down, lament, mourn, well. So to smite, to lament. I can. Completely forgot where the word lament was. Uh, that's the spirit. I was going to go into the word lament, but I take that to like the spirit. That's enough, you know. We all know mourning, what mourning is, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's a scripture that proves when the Messiah comes back, it's not going to be, you know, rainbows and sunshine for everybody. It's going to only be for... It's only going to be like that for the true believers. Because even us true believers is going to be catching hell. But guess what? Our salvation, when we see it, is going to lift us spirits up. We're going we gonna to be rejoicing in it. Like I constantly bring out one of my favorite scriptures. Isaiah chapter first, I mean chapter 26, um, I think it's like verse 9. It says, when, your judgments, when his judgments are in the earth, then shall they know righteousness. So, we welcome the, the Lord to continue to judge in this place. Because we understand how fucking wicked it is. And like, you got you got to remember, like people look at us crazy because we want these things and we're going to be in the midst of, of it. But at the same time, we understand, like I had to tell my sister, you know, you sitting up here, keep on talking about pleading in the good blood of Jesus. Well, you need to really understand the scriptures because in order for us to get who you call Jesus, these things must come to pass. So if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, commandments of your power, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shire, you will be destroyed. With that, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to call Loyum La Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shire, by Hashem Rachak, with this work of thumb. I want to say double honors to the elders and to the apostles of the great millstone who do teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa, thought they're listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, for whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say shalom. Until next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. I say shalom, shalom. Shalom, Yashar Allah. Shalom.